welcome to the Disney Worship Center experience where you matter. We are excited to have you worship with us today. Take a moment to share our page with your family and friends. If you have any prayer requests, let us know in the comments. Or you can go to dwccc.org and select resources to send a private prayer request to our prayer team. If you would like to partner with Disney financially as you continue to do kingdom work, you can give in the following ways. Giveify, Disney Worship Center, Lancaster, Texas. Cash App, dollar sign, Disney WCC2. The website, which is dwccc.org, select online giving. Or you can drop it off at the church on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 1230. So, Father God, we come to you today. Just thank you in advance for yet another day. Bless the man of the hour, O oh God, that the word will be received. These are many blessings we pray. Amen. Enjoy the Disney experience as our praise team comes.
to the 11th verse. We're in a series. <laughs> We're in a series called This Is My Winning Season. <laughs> oh, this is my winning Worshiping with us. Looking at man cave, woman cave, dining, kitchenette, living room, garage. As if you just stand to honor the word.
something on today. I just need a crumb. Go on, put it in the atmosphere. I just need a crumb. between the disciples and Jesus. Because I wanted to elevate my prayer life. And if our prayer life is to be elevated, we need to hear Jesus' explanation to a personal question from the disciples. The personal question that was asked by the disciples to Jesus was, how do we do what you do? That, that is the superficial tense of the question. But the subterranean tense of the question is, Jesus, after you do what you do, we've seen you do some things that have never been done. And we want to know what you did so we can do what you did. <laughs> okay, you see the disciples had been walking with Jesus and had seen him heal the sick by the laying on of hands. Heal the sick by making mud and, and putting it in someone's face. Heal the sick by speaking the word. Heal the sick with a touch. Heal the sick with the sick person touching him. If they had even seen Jesus heal the sick by sending his spirit to heal in one place while he was healing in another place. But, but here's the point that we cannot miss. In spite of how many miracles Jesus did and the manner in which he did them, the disciples did not ask Jesus how to heal. They asked Jesus how to pray. Oh, okay, okay. Look at the text. They didn't say, Master, teach us how to spit on the ground and make some mud so we can restore sight to the blind. They, they didn't say, Master, what are the key words to heal leprosy? They, they didn't say, Master, how do you turn water into wine? They, they didn't say, Master, how do you multiply two fish and five loaves of bread? They said, Master, teach us how to pray God, which tells us they saw something happen after Jesus prayed that superseded any miracles Jesus performed. While, while the miracles were amazing, they did not compare to Jesus' anointing. Okay. While, while the miracles were amazing, Lorraine, they did not compare to Jesus' anointing. Preston, while the miracles were amazing, they did not come close to his anointing. So they said to themselves, I would rather be anointed and hopefully amazing than amazing and not anointed. So in the disciples' minds, when 
when Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread, they had to be saying to themselves, if God can provide for Moses, he can provide for me. If he can deliver that chocolate with his stuff himself, he can deliver me. If he, if he can part seeds for Moses, he can part seeds for me. If he can eliminate Moses' haters, he can get rid of mine. What I'm trying to say is that they were not new to this. They was true to this. So the disciples were saying, God, you just gave us permission to ask if you did it before. Y'all gonna walk with me. You can do it again. I feel a praise in the atmosphere. God just need you to heal again and deliver again and set free again and wipe my tears again and calm my fears again and turn it around again. God, I need you to make a way out of no way. Not, not like this is gonna be your first time. I need you to do it again. Yes, God. I was looking at him. Matthew 6, 11, it says, give us this day our, our daily bread. John 6, 11 says, then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them who were seated as much as they wanted. <laughs> Matthew 6, 11 says, God, give us this day our daily bread. John 6, 11 says, then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given it to them, he gave them who were seated as much as they wanted. One verse encourages us to trust God for a bread today. Yeah. The other is a picture of being thankful for abundance. Yeah. Now, 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 many of us gloss over the words, give us this day our daily bread. And the reason why we're able to is because we've been spoiled by exceeding in abundance. Uh, wow. And I can prove it. Uh. Some of us have been a little hungry, but few of us have ever been really starving. <laughs> Some of us have been a little cold, but, but very few of us have been freezing. Some, some of us have not liked where we live, but, 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 but few of us have been homeless. Some, some of us have gone to the kitchen, looked in the pantry, saw some food, and said something that hungry people would never say. I don't see nothing to eat. God. Sometimes in our praying to God to bless us with daily bread, yeah. he subtracts. 
subtracts instead of adds. So sometimes the best thing for us is weight loss. So, 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 uh, sometimes the best thing for us is being less busy. Sometimes the best thing for us is not being on the computer so much. Sometimes we need less FaceTime on social media. We, we need to exhale. So, sometimes we, we need less noise, less of me and more of you, God. Let, less of my pettiness and, and more of your power. Less of my power and more of your purpose. Less of my writing and She was saying it to 
me. Come, come on. Okay, I'm going somewhere. I'm going. That's where God is trying to get us to. That, 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 God, that it doesn't matter what we say because he knows our hearts. He just wants to know that we're thinking about him. That, that, that we want him to be part of our joy and every pain, bing, every smile and every fear, bing, that, that, we, that we want him in every decision, bing, that, that we want the values and presence, bing, that, that we need him in every situation, bing, that we honor him just for being God, bing, that we're grateful for his grace, bing, that we embrace his business, bing. What I'm trying to say is just like I love here my babies,
know my struggles. You know my hurt. You know my wounds. You know I've been dead at me. You know I'm trying to do better. Oh, my God. 
Congress. If you are even making a difference. And I got a text on this morning from someone who out of their mouth said they had given up on God.
to share our page, partner with us financially, and always remember to reach out in love, the stories with passion, recover with authority, and rejoice with thanksgiving. Be blessed.